Hello everyone, Cat McMuffin here, and welcome to the other Let's Play that's going alongside Super Mario Sunshine! We're playing another Crash game. Man, it's been a long time since I've played one of these. It's been a long time since I've played this game itself. Oh man. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Crash to Insanity! Woohoo! Oh man, I... I <laughs> I don't know. This this game comes up to a very very close place next to Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know which one is my favorite. Well, no, that's Super Mario Sunshine will always have a special place in my heart, but this one uh this one is definitely comes in a very close second. Oh my god, we have so many places to uh save. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I would like to save this one, because I always do the second save file for some reason. Yes, I would like to overwrite that. We don't need that one. There's three other ones that everybody else can use, anyway. Oh, this game is so hilarious and awesome and magical. Sleep, my insipid angel. Bum, 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 bum. Meanwhile, Crash is over here being a dumbass. Crash, Crash, where are you, big <laughs> He's bearing in his shoe, and that's just slightly creepy. Crash must be really mindless to realize that's not Cortex. Also, I think. The voice actor, Lex Lang, who uh, does Cortex's voice in this game, is phenomenal. Like, um, the one for the original three Crash games are fine, but this guy does it so much better. So anyway, where to begin with this game? Um, now, a lot of people say that this is the last good Crash game that was ever made. I, I personally think that Twin uh, uh, Tag Team Racing is also good, but... Um, this game is definitely better than than Tag Team Racing. I just fell down. Um, so here we are on Insanity Island, uh, where most of our uh, games involving Crash begin. Uh, there's really not much to do here other than collect gems, and I'm not really going to be focusing much on that in this playthrough. Um, they're definitely, if, if you are a completionist whore like some people I know, uh, then this is a great place to, you know, hone your skills, I suppose because there are so many secrets in just this one area. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go for, through them. I'm just going to be walking around chilling for a little bit while I explain what I'm going to be talking about a little bit. Uh, where was I going to go with this? Oh, the sound's cutting out. It's doing that in Super Mario Sunshine 2. That's a little bit concerning. And I just hurt myself. That's awesome. What have we got? I lost a life within the first three minutes of the game. It is I, Aku Aku. Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. That's right. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Yes, he will. It's the same basic premise as any Crash game. This, this one is uh, a little bit more story-oriented rather than level-oriented, I'd, I'd say. And the story is actually really good. Um, the ending is a little bizarre, but uh, nothing nothing you wouldn't expect in a Crash game. Um, the music, oh man, Ev every track in this game is so memorable to me. Um, if you noticed, uh, a couple months ago I did an acapella of the, this, this actual song that's playing right now. This whole, all of the music is done by Spiral Mouth, which is a now uh, defunct... Uh, acapella group, but uh, if you've ever looked up their stuff, they only have like one album. Uh, but the stuff they've done is amazing, and this this game and also Tag Team Racing is no exception. So I I love the music in this game. I love the gameplay. I love the style. I love the humor. It's just all of it is so great. Now you blow up that thing and bite your tongue, because we're going in dry. I shouldn't say that. That's really bizarre and gross and weird and, uh, why am I doing this? I should be moving on with the game. Oh, what is there to, what else is there to be said? Uh, we're, we're gonna be watching a lot of these. The only, one of the only bad things about this game is there are a ton of loading screens. 
as unfortunate Come as it may on, seem. Follow me, Crash. Stay close and do what I do. All right. Well, here we go through the tutorial level. So let's get going with it. We're gonna. It's just. It's this. This whole uh, beginning scene is a whole throwback to the first game ever made, just called Crash Bandicoot, in which we're going through a linear level, just avoiding obstacles, jumping over pits. All that stuff you've come to know and love with the Crash game. And Crash Bandicoot is definitely one of my favorite franchises out there. It's really too bad that they've... That, uh... Whoever, whoever had them most recently. There's been three companies who have owned Crash Bandicoot. There was Naughty Dog, then there was Traveler's Tales or Vicarious Visions. I know, not which, not sure which one actually owned the rights, but... There's that one, and then there's the ones that made those two games most recently. And both of them suck, it's from what easy. I hear. All too easy. All too easy. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I've only heard, I've, I have not actually played either of those games, but I have seen what the character models look like, and they're completely different, and I just don't, I don't understand it. I don't know why they can screw up Crash Bandicoot that bad. But this game, this game is definitely the height of, of the good games. I, I don't know which one I like better, Crash 3 or or this one. It's it's a tough call. Because I got my PlayStation 2 in 2007, I think. Or maybe, maybe Crash Smith in 2006. It might have been then. All my other friends had an Xbox 360, but I had a PS2. And for the longest time, this game and... There was one other one. Are you? <laughs> it's true. Worlds do, do have, have more fun. fun. Love the quotes in this game. I, just, I can't get over it. It's, it's fantastic. All of it is, really. But yeah, this was this was this game was my best friend uh, during the time I, the height of my PS2 era in gaming. Because I don't know if I've mentioned it on the on my channel before, but I have a really bizarre uh, timeline as far as game consoles I've experienced. Because right after this one, right before this I had a Wii, and right after this I had an Xbox 360. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bizarre to say the least. But for now, we're just gonna hang out here on Insanity Island, destroy some crates, beat some enemies, jump over pits, for old time's sake. And in this game, like I said, not really gameplay oriented as much as this, as much as the. Uh... Oh wait, I love this. Uh, uh, I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. <laughs> oh, Cortex. He used to be an evil mastermind. Now he's just a crazy evil mastermind who has a lot of funny quotes. Everybody in this game has some pretty hilarious quotes, pretty much, except for Crash because he doesn't talk, but he doesn't count. His facial expressions tell all. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to satisfy your needs. Suicide! Well, actually, that's more like murder, but... We can kill a couple defenseless skunks, that's fine. BAM! I love that, too. But yeah, this this game doesn't have any gems, doesn't have any particular levels that you can go into at any time. It's just you play the story, and once you're done, you're done. So let's go down this thing and go to our first boss battle. Oh, let's get this hidden little extra life here. I think there's another one back here somewhere, too. I think. Eh, I don't know. Maybe that's later. Let's move on. Alright, our first battle... Oh, it's actually Cortex. Nice to see me crash. Like the fleas in your fur, I keep coming back. Three years I spent, I spent alone in the frozen, frozen Antarctic, Antarctic wastes. wastes. And I, I miss you. you. And so I've organized a little gathering. Like, like a, a birthday, birthday party. Except, except the, the exact, exact opposite. opposite. And look. Oh, and there's Crunch with his birthday here. cake. It's like, oh, I thought there was actually a birthday. You are so very popular. Let's yeah, start Rook, up Walla the Kong, presents. Nitrous Oxide. They're all here. I don't know why Polar is there, because Polar was your friend in, in Crash 2. I don't know what the deal with that is. I almost bought Crash 2 the other day. I think I really should have done it, because it was only like 14 bucks. Um... 
Maybe I'll play that sometime. Cra Crash 2 wasn't much of a game that I played often. Uh, this is from Tiny. It, it was this more Crash 3, but Dio. still wouldn't mind playing it sometime. Peru, you shouldn't have. Anyway. Stripe, how thoughtful. How oh, thoughtful. Oh dear, two of the same. But don't like them. Ah, that's good. Good of you, Cortex. He's always thinking for us. I, I know pretty much all of the quotes in this game, I'm not gonna lie. I, I love it too much. It's so good. I don't know if I've if I've mentioned that enough times. Music, Jesus I I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop ta raving about this game, and I'm sure anyone who's a fan of Crash knows it knows it already. And this, uh, this fight with, with Cortex is pretty uh, self-explanatory, not very really too challenging, just to hold his beams and hit him when he shoots at you. shabba da -boo. And into the spikes. Alright. Meet your brand new, hydraulically operated twin brother, Mecha Bandicoot! Alright, so now we're gonna get up on the steps. We're gonna fight Mecha Bandicoot, who once again is a, a very easy boss. It's it's just like you come to expect in any Crash game. He's got his missile arm, he's got his chainsaw arm, and then he's going to shoot this thing at you, and it'll start blowing it up. He looks intimidating, that's for sure, but he actually is probably the only boss ever who actually gets easier the more you fight him. He just looks like he's gonna get more intimidating, but you'll see what I mean after we're, we're done, uh blowing up his appendages. Oh, I messed that up. Did you forget? He, he lost his arm, so now you have to... Whoop. Wow, really? <laughs> That's funny. He lost his one arm, so now all we have to deal with is his missile. So, yeah. Okay, now this is pretty funny. You're like, uh, okay, no problem. Oh, now he's gonna get a bigger one. Oh, no, it's actually the same. Okay, now for real, right? Oh man, that looks bad. Nope, nope. Actually, he's 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 dead. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Sorry, engine, you're dead. And somehow that blows up Cortex, and he gets shot into the- Oh, wait, I love this, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Every moment of this game is hilarious. Okay. And so we begin the second uh, level of this game, which is Cabin Catastrophe. As, uh, this game has a total of 16 levels, I think. And this is number two. It has four sections, four levels each, so yeah, 16 levels. So, uh, now we're going and we're introduced to a new mechanic where we have to get these crystals in order and they'll knock down some stuff. So we're gonna go back this way, and I believe there's some lives back here. Yep. So that's nice. And so we're, we're also introduced to the mechanic in which uh, Crash and Cortex are just fighting the whole time. We have to control where they where they roll. And it's the first instance of Crash and Cortex having to quasi work together. Uh, not quite. So when we go down this way, I, I like to take the left route. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's easier. Maybe become because I'm left-handed. I don't know. I'm just gonna avoid all these nitros and whatnot. Easy pickings, right? Crash! I love this music, man. Uh, this one isn't my, uh, one of my favorite tracks, but like I said before, all of them are good. All of them. It's not a crash game without some hazards. It's up here. Okay. Okay, just some stuff. Oh, looks like we're moving on, actually. I must have Whoa! I'm hit by that. Also, a, a nice little thing. I'll just stay here for a second. If you wait for a little bit, you see them actually fighting each other in different ways. If you move, then they'll be doing something else. <laughs> Apparently, Crash's face is very squishy. Let's get on. Translate to the station! Ooh. 
Okay. And once again, we have to hit these in order. Red, yellow, and green. Like the stop sign. I don't know how that got stuck there. There wasn't anything below it, but... I won't complain. Game logic and all that. Let's go this way now. Fall down onto another gear and another gear and another gear and another gear. Simple stuff, really. We want to go here first. I think this takes us somewhere. There are a ton of secrets in this game. Oh, it's a gem. Like I said, if I find a gem, uh, that's great, but I'm not going to go for them. Much like the blue coins in Super Mario Sunshine, not a big deal. So, go down through this thing. And there we go. <laughs> I love that. Oh, well. Power, Power crystal. crystal. Alright, we got our first crystal. Out of only a couple, really. Uh-oh, what's that noise? Oh, jeez. And this is our introduction with the, f the ant soldiers, but we are going to deal with that in the next episode of Let's Play Crash to Insanity. Thank you for watching. This has been Cat McMuffin, and I will see you again next time.